What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. No cool cinematic edits, intros today. I'm just gonna head down to the shop, get working on the Evo 8. We got something hella, hella sick to install in the car today. Let me go show you what it is. Now the reason I think this mod is so cool and I'm gonna love this mod more than anything I'm doing to my car is because it's off of, the, off of the gauge cluster. When you're driving the car, what are you staring at the whole time you're driving? You're staring at the gauge cluster. We have this carbon fiber overlay. No, it's not real carbon fiber. It's not dry carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber overlay. So I'm sticking that onto the gauge cluster. It's still gonna look really freaking good. That's not the cool part though. The cool part is all of these gauge I'm guessing these are overlays as well. I'm not really sure. There's a bunch of wiring coming off of it. Um, basically, they're, they're gauges that look like Ferrari gauges, I guess. That's the easiest way to explain it. That's how the seller explained it. So I'm gonna go ahead, rip that Evo 8 cluster out of there and see if I can figure out how everything goes. We also have this controller, which I had no clue that it included but it has a blue and a green dial on it. My bad, a blue and green switch, and then a min and a max dial. So I'm not really sure how all this works. I honestly have no clue. I know there's no need to tell you, but the second link in the description box is gonna be the link to cop all this. First link is the merch. I'm gonna head over to the Evo 8 and see if we can get the cluster out. I figured while I'm in here and before I get it taken out, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like 100% stock. You know what, because I don't know if this is gonna change the color of all the lights and everything, I'm gonna shut off all the lights in the shop, shut off the lights in my interior, and turn the cluster lights on, just to show you guys a before of that as well. So I've never pulled out an Evo cluster before, but it looks like there's a screw there, a screw there for the bezel. That bezel should pop off, and I'm gonna guess there's a few screws underneath the bezel holding the cluster onto the car. We have a screw right there, a screw right there, and a screw right there, that white tab. Pull those three off, cluster should come out, there'll be some wiring on the back side. Seems easy enough. Easy enough. There were just two bigger wiring plugins on the back side of this cluster. Disconnected those, and the cluster was out. Let's head over to the table, see what we can figure out with these, all these new gadgets and goodies. The first thing I'm gonna do is pop off this lens cover so there's two little tabs down there and a few tabs up top as well just kind of decompress those and the lens cover should pop off like that so I'm guessing this is where oh, holy shit that is where that sits that is so freaking sick holy balls it's kind of funny because I didn't know that I was getting this and I originally was gonna take this all apart and paint this bezel, this gray bezel black. Cause I kinda want an all black interior on this car eventually. All black and white. You guys will see it all come to life eventually, but now I don't have to because I got something better than black, which is some carbon fiber. All right, what are, what are we doing with these? This is what I'm kind of concerned about is I don't know where, I don't know if these are replacing the things we have or if they're just overlays, you know? Either way, we're gonna have to take this thing apart some more. So let's try to get this black bezel off. Same concept as that lens. A few black tabs we're gonna decompress. All right guys, I didn't see this little instruction sheet, but it says, I'll kind of read it off to you. Uh, thanks to our purchase of our stuff. Prior to installing, we wanna cover some stuff. So our gauges, our gauge faces our manufacturer with the holes big enough for the pin needles so that you do not need to remove the pin needles. You can simply slide the face through and maneuver around the pin, pin needles to complete the installation. Basically what we're gonna do is overlay everything. We're not taking we're not taking these off from what I understand. We're just putting them over those.
we got all of the overlays on and I know it said on the instructions that you should either use a little bit of glue or double sided tape. I find that as soon as you get this bezel on right here, it holds everything down as long as all, the, all your clips are in good shape and not cracked. It'll hold all of the overlays on just fine. That's from based off what I can tell right now. Like I'm jiggling it around, moving it around and nothing is moving whatsoever. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that in the future. I guess if I notice one of them moving around, I can pull it back off. It takes about five minutes to remove and I can either glue it or double sided tape it on. Next up is I think it's my favorite thing is this carbon fiber little bezel. So that is going to sit on just like that. Double side tape on the back side, 3M high quality double side tape. Let's throw it on. Should be a pretty simple install. From what I can tell, it fits good. No freaking way. This is literally the coolest mod I've ever done on any sim car I've ever owned. I wish I had something like this for my FRS or the, the Evo 10. That is so sick. I can't wait to get it in the car and figure out how everything else works. Like, what is this? What do I do here? You know, this kind of stuff. This is crazy. So right here we have four wiring plugins. Obviously those go to these plugins coming out of there. And then on this side, we have a red and a black. I'm going to guess that is just a power and a ground, which that'll be pretty easy to find a power source for. I'm going to get this cluster back in the car. Wait, I guess we should probably put this on. Is it clean? Clean enough. I don't really care, honestly. All right, let's go through a scene back in the car and figure out where we can mount those two little guys at. So there ended up being a little hole right behind the cluster where I ran those three wires through for the new uh, little blue green controller. And those wires are coming out right down here. So now I can grab that controller, this little homie right here, plug it in. And then all we have to do from here, mount the box and connect the red and black wire to a positive and a negative. So for the positive and negative, the ground is just chilling right there. Very simple to do. The positive is going to, I tapped it into the same exact wire that my gauges are running off of. And that is just going right into the fuse box, guys. There's so many different switch 12 volts down here that just, you can simply just find one. You can tap off a radio fuse. You can tap off of a cigarette lighter. You just tap off anything that pretty much turns on when the car turns on and you'll be good to go. Well, you guys ready for the moment of truth? I have all the wiring plugged in. The controller's plugged in. We are ready to turn it on and see what happens. It's probably not gonna work anyway. I don't know, I'm tripping out. Uh, what? That is crazy. That is literally the coolest thing I've ever seen. Where's that little box at? So it says it's on blue right now, which to me looks like a pretty much a pure white. That's what I was going after is like a pure white. That looks sick. If I go over to green, it looks like it just makes it more dim which I'm fine with. I don't want a green or I don't want a blue, I want it white. And then I can dim it all the way down to where it's all the way off. Holy shnit. I think I'm gonna run it about right there. Just a little bit on. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever done on any car in the world. This is so sick. Guys, for real, if you have an Evo 8 or Evo 9, do this. The only thing that I'm noticing right now is that's kind of weird. Well, there's two things. Number one, it has like the tarmac gravel snow thing on the overlay which this car does not have acd so that is just it's just chilling on which i don't really care about it actually kind of adds a little bit of style to it you know and number two the overlay over the brake for the e-brake is kind of like cut off a little bit let me show you what i mean i don't know if you guys can see that or not but look at the brake where it says brake right there you see how it's like cut off looking just a little bit, nothing crazy, not a big deal. The last thing to do is figure out where I wanna mount that little controller dial thing. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna tuck it away somewhere. I probably will never mess with it, um, but I'll put it somewhere where I can get to it 
if I need to. I just don't want to see it. I don't want it laying around. So I'll zip tie it up underneath the dash somewhere underneath that kick panel. I'm going to just leave it on blue about halfway dimmed down and just zip tied up somewhere. I probably will never mess with it. So I'm going to do that. I have to put on that little bezel for the instrument cluster for the gauge cluster, put the kick panel back on and we should be done. We should be good to go. That was a pretty freaking easy install and it is my favorite mod thus far on the Evo 8, 100% hands down. Go in the description box below if you guys have an eight or nine, pick one up if you guys like this as much as I do, because that is absolutely insane. <laughs> That is so sick. I am so hyped on this. Oh my gosh. There's one weird thing that I've always noticed with this car ever since I got it. The brake light and the battery light are always a little bit on. Any other eight or nine guys on here, is your uh, brake and battery light always a little bit on? The more you rev it up, it kind of like dims out and fades away. But when you're just sitting there idling, it's very noticeable and it's just really annoying, honestly. Um, let me know in the comment section below, though. I'm very, very pumped with not only the carbon fiber overlay, but the gauge overlays as well. It's so sick how I can, you know, I can dim it down. I can turn it all the way bright. I just think that at the in the nighttime, if it's all the way bright, it'd be kind of, you know, blinding. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think of the whole new dash setup? I think it looks absolutely amazing. Freaking love it. One of my favorite mods so far. Maybe I'm overhyping it. Maybe I'm too stoked on it but I think it's absolutely sick. Let me know in the comment section below. Is it a yay or is it an A? Thank you guys for watching. And remember, second link in the description box below will be a link to the, to the carbon overlays and the gauge overlays. It's all wood package. So go pick it up if you have eight or nine and you like this mod. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.